Hi, this is Leslie. In this video, we will be taking a look at how to book, edit, move, and cancel an advanced reservation. First, we'll navigate to the reservations module here in the navigation bar. And next, we'll click on book reservation. We'll select the site, the date, and the time that we would like to have our reservation. Our party size can be entered here and any requests can also be selected. We'll check availability by clicking on the check availability button. The available slots are then presented. From here, I can simply check the slot that I would like and click book. Now we'll enter our contact information. Up here at the top, I'll type in my contact and click the lookup and either select an existing contact, or if they do not exist yet, we'll add them as a new contact. I'll go ahead and save that. Contact exists up here at the top. Any preferences or personal information that I've gathered can certainly be entered here. The reservation details exist here. Again, I can enter any information that is required by my organization, required fields, will be indicated by a red vertical bar. The very last section down here is the special occasion, comments, service options. These are different requests that might be available. I'll go ahead and select a special occasion and then I'll simply click on save. The reservation has now been booked and exists here on the reservation guest list. Other things that we can do to a reservation include editing it. This would be if I wanted to edit reservation information, useful for adding comments or additional details. So for the reservation that I just made, I'll go ahead and hit the edit link next to the reservation name. Again, in this section, I could edit information such as the special occasion or add a comments. I'll just put that they're bringing in some flowers. I'll go ahead and save that, and my reservation has been edited. I can also move a reservation. I'm going to use the move hyperlink anytime I want to change the time, the date, or the party size. So I'm going to go ahead and click on move. And in this one, I'll go ahead and change the party size. Let's pretend it's now going to be a party of four. I'm going to use check availability again. This is going to allow cloud to check the availability based on our new parameters. I'll go ahead and select the time frame and the information that I want here in the available slots and just hit move. I have now adjusted that reservation party size to a party of four. I can also cancel a reservation also by simply using the links next to the reservation name here on the guest list. To cancel a reservation, I'll just click on cancel. Up at the top, I can select a reason and then simply click on the save button. Canceled reservations are now shown at the bottom of the page again on the appropriate day. Lastly, I can reactivate a canceled reservation. To reactivate the canceled reservation, I'll simply click on the link. Make sure my information still holds true. And again, I'll need to check availability to make sure that this table is or this uh, reservation could still be taken at this time. I'll go ahead and grab the time frame that I want, hit reactivate and that reservation is now back on the guest list. That concludes this video on how to book, edit, move, and or cancel a reservation. Thanks for watching.